Deftones, Lotion, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. I'll play all the different sections right at the start. After that, go back through, give the full explanation for it. Please hit that subscription button. That's the best way of letting me know you like this video and want to see more Deftones lessons. Now let's get on into the video. Okay, so this is the Around the Fur album. So if you want to play along exactly with the recorded version on the Around the Fur album, you're going to need a drop D flat tuning. Okay, so that'd be D flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. All right, or, you know, drop C sharp tuning, whichever nomenclature you prefer there. Uh, but for our purposes here, just to keep it, uh, you know, simple and as accessible to everybody as we can, uh, I'm just going to be keeping it in a regular drop D, D A D G B E. All right, so that, you know, if you're just getting into this, you don't need to switch every string down. Uh, just this top uh, E here, drop it down a full step to a D. Everything else stays the same. All right, so just a little tuning clear up there. Uh, so drop D here, drop D flat on the album. All right, and we'll start with this intro riff, and this also happens, you know, after. Uh, the chorus, and it's just a, you know, a handful of strums on two chords. Uh, pretty basic chords here. They're fun little dissonant ones. Um, this initial one's a G flat seven sus flat nine. You know, complicated name, but pretty simple here. It's just a four on that middle D, and then we keep an open G B and E under it. All right, and it's just a couple strums on that. And I think you can throw a little bit of like chorus effect on it if you're trying to match the uh, recording a little closer there. Um, I'll try to keep it a little more clear here, just some basic gain on here. So just a couple of strums on this. All right, and then we move it down to the second fret on the D. Keep that open G, B, and E, and this is just kind of part of an E minor chord now. And a couple of strums here. All right, into the verse riff now. And it's this uh, kind of palm muted, real syncopated back and forth with the uh, open power chord D in the first fret, uh, D-sharp, E-flat power chord here. And uh, kind of the, the strum timing on it is we want to do uh, one quick open to three strums on that first fret. Okay, we, like I said, we're kind of palm muting a bit here. All right, and there's kind of a slight hesitation, and then we repeat it again. All right, and then we kind of switch it up now. We go open to one, slight hesitation, one again. Okay, and basically we repeat that twice. All right, so just slowly putting that initial back and forth with the open and ones here. All right, so uh, after we get that timing down and the strumming down with that, then we just come back to our, our very first chord of the intro, that G flat 7 sus, and you know, fourth fret on the D with the open G, B, and E, and we just strum that four times. Right, and after you get that, basically we just repeat that whole thing throughout the verse. For the chorus, we bump up to the fourth fret here. And uh, we add a six now on the G, and this just kind of becomes a big G5 chord now, G flat five. All right. 
And basically we would do a few strums on this, maybe a couple quick little shuffles, and then come off to a open power chord D there. Okay, something like that. And then basically the second half of it, we just take those fours on the DAD, make them fives, keep that six on the G, strum it the same way. Okay, back off to that open D at the end. And we just go between those throughout the chorus. For the bridge, we do a more palm muting here and uh, we're just kind of worrying about the bottom two strings here. And it's just a quick open low D to three strums of the fourth fret power chord. All right, and then essentially just repeat that three times. And we cap it off with a quick fives to open. And the final bit here, it's kind of a variant of the bridge. I think it happens maybe like the third time the bridge comes around and it happens at the outro here. And it's essentially just the same bridge pattern here, but we're just making it big, unmuted chords. All right, uh, we're doing like a quick open uh, DAD, you know, and we're including that six on the G now. So just letting that ride along with all these changes here. And like I said, a quick open power chord to three strums of the fours. All right, and it's that same vibe of the basic bridge. We repeat that three times. All right, and then we just come over to the fives, hit that, back off to the open. Okay, so it's just a, a bigger, more dynamic, corded version of it.